Hey Salam, I hope you guys are well. Hello Chef is back for another video. And this time I'm making chicken katsu curry. Chicken katsu itself is a Japanese dish of fried chicken made with panko breadcrumbs. It's also known as panko chicken. It's a well famous dish in London, Australia, California and other areas of the world. We're gonna serve the chicken katsu with a really nice curry sauce. Also a bit of the rice and pickled cabbage. You're really gonna enjoy it. Without further ado, let's get started. We're gonna start with the curry sauce. First of all, you want to thinly slice the onions. Three fingers on the onions and this knuckle is gonna be your guide. I'm also using some of this carrot. You want to thinly slice it. It's gonna add more flavor. You also want to use some of this ginger and garlic. Grab your mortar and pestle, crush ginger and garlic into a paste. A really fine paste will be better. All right, let's get cooking. Turn up the heat around medium with a good touch of oil. When the oil is nice and hot and with your onions. You want a light color on these onions. Now with the ginger and garlic, give that a mix again. Again, you want to cook the rawness of the ginger and garlic. A light touch of water. To add some sweetness, we're going to use apple. You want to remove the skin and grate it fine. And with a shredded apple and our carrots. Give it a mix again. Let the carrots saute a bit. Now listen, you can deglaze when you need to. Now let's throw in some of these whole spices. I'm using here star anise, some of the cinnamon. It was a curry powder, garam masala, turmeric, good touch of black pepper, salt, red chili powder for some heat. Touch of water and give this a really good mix. Cook the rawness of those spices because you really don't want the raw taste in your mouth. Just get rid of that star anise and the cinnamon stick as well. Now throw in knobs of butter and let the butter melt. Now with the plain flour. It's gonna help thicken our sauce. Mix and we want to cook the rawness of the flour. It's almost like a roux here. Now slowly start adding in your stock. And give that a mix. I also mixed in some of the soy sauce to the stock. Once you've added the stock, you want to bring this to simmer. Just a gentle simmer. Smells amazing, trust me. Now once it starts to simmer, just turn off the heat. Carefully add the sauce into your blender. Blend this until nice and smooth. Oh my days. I'm gonna pass the sauce through a sieve to ensure it's silky smooth. Add the sauce back into this pan. Look how beautiful that looks. Now is the time to adjust any seasoning. Just gonna add a bit of MSG and a touch of honey to balance out the heat. Just brings everything together. Let's have a little taste. Bismillah. Mmm. Wow. For the chicken, I'm using a chicken breast. You want to slice the chicken in the middle so we get two even shapes. Put your knife in the middle and slice. Let the knife do the work. If the breast is too thick, you could cut it into three pieces. Now place a baking paper and you want to pound this from its thickest part. Just to make sure the chicken is nice and even. Now season generously with a good touch of salt. Touch of the black pepper as well. Give that a tap. Turn around and season from the other side as well. Now remove this on a plate and leave it in the fridge to dry brown for overnight. Now to prepare our cuts of chicken, grab three plates. In one of the plates add panko breadcrumbs, some of this plain flour in the other plate, three eggs in this plate. Add a touch of water as well. Before we start coating the chicken, turn up the heat to around medium high. Bring the oil temperature to around 170 Celsius. So this is how we're gonna coat the chicken. First of all, you want to add it into your plain flour. Shake off the excess. This goes into your eggs. Just completely submerge in there. Now into your panko breadcrumbs. Using your dry hand, just put some on the top. Make sure to cover them properly. And just shake off the excess. Now this is ready to go into hot oil. Always away from you. We're going to shallow fry this for around five to six minutes. The internal temperature should reach around 75 Celsius. Baste it with hot oil so we get a nice color across the chicken. All right, the chicken is nice and golden brown. This is exactly what we are looking for here. Just drain off the excess oil and remove it onto this cooling rack. Use tissue paper if you want to remove excess oil.
for the rice I'm using here basmati. You want to soak up the rice in water for at least 30 minutes and then wash and drink completely. Now in boiling water add in a good touch of salt. Make sure the heat is on medium. One cinnamon stick, some of these cloves for nice aroma. Finally a good touch of oil. Give this a mix and in with our soaked rice. Now let this cook until there is some water left on the top. Now when there's some water left and the heat low, place a clean kitchen cloth on the top, place the lid and let this steam up for around 13 to 15 minutes. Alright guys, let's check the rice. Bismillah, it's hot. They look amazing, I'm just gonna fluff them up using this fork here. Smells so good. Have a perfect boiled rice. Done. For the pickled cabbage in with the salt, and with the sugar, some of these black peppercorns and mustard seeds for some flavor. Now in with the boiling water and vinegar. Give that a mix. Now in with the shredded red cabbage. Just want to soak that in. Just give that a quick mix. Now let this cool down completely. Once done, transfer into an air sealed container and leave it in the fridge. Our delicious chicken katsu. Done. Alright guys, let's plate this up. In with our rice. Add in the chicken just here. The amazing beetroot pickle. I guess I'm gonna try this. First I'm just gonna try a bit of the curry and the rice. Really want to taste that curry first because we put tons of work in there. Bismillah. Mmm wow that is so flavorful. A bit sweet, a bit spicy. The sauce is perfectly balanced. Now let's try the star of the dish. Our chicken katsu. Bismillah. Mmm, it's so nice and crispy. I want you guys to hear this. Let's take my last bite with a bit of that pickled cabbage. Mmm, that was so so delicious. You guys are gonna love it. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, make sure you like. Inshallah, I'll see you next time. Until then, salam. Make for your mom. Make for your dad. Make for your family in Jawahar.